Thank you, thank you. I am Fred Payne. I am a member of Greenville County Council. And I want to tell you, I have a passion for transforming transportation. And the A-Taxi is one of the things that's going to shatter the way we look at transportation. So, got some ideas to share with you today. We're talking about uh, a vehicle that uh, is working today in London, uh, in Greenville, and hopefully one day in Furman. Uh, Here's a picture of, of an A-Taxi. Uh, most of us have heard of the Google car. Uh, it is an automated vehicle. It is an A-Taxi in, in my language. Uh, we don't use the Google car here, but we want to create some. We had a, a vehicle here that uh, was an automated vehicle here last year in September. And uh, the Navia, uh, we're going to try to bring some of those back and, and demonstrate them later in the year. Um, we also have a local university that, whose uh, engineering students built an A-Taxi, automated electric vehicle. The students at Bob Jones uh, it, last fall created a poster board that uh, tells what they did. And uh, they basically uh, had to uh, take out the steering. They left the steering wheel, but they created an automated steering, automated braking, and automated acceleration. And that's exactly what the Google car does. Now here's an example of what they did on their campus. This vehicle, which was built in Simpsonville, South Carolina, assembled there, was actually uh, automated by students that are undergraduate students. They used less than $5,000 and they did it in three months. That's pretty uh, amazing to me. Now, the, uh, this slide uh, defines the market that we might be able to deal with. And uh, our, the uh, decrease in distracted driving is one thing. How many of us uh, enjoy writing and talking? That's illegal in South Carolina uh, to use your phone for texting and talking. Uh, save gas on money and uh, money on auto mill insurance and other costs. Reduce drunk driving, travel with pets. It's environmentally friendly. You can escape from a volatile oil market and we can avoid uh, weather because it's an enclosed vehicle. Uh, it's like a car. Uh, it's personal. Uh, small vehicle, you and your family or friends. Uh, it's on demand 24-7, which is like your car. It's direct from your origin to your destination. Uh, how is it different? Well, it's driverless. There are no distractions. Uh, it's shared costs, so your costs are less than a car. And there are no parking concerns, because when you finish using it, it goes back to the station or goes to pick up the next rider. Now, Here's a diagram that illustrates uh, how an automated, automated taxi can serve different parts of a community, a central business district, a, um, a corporate campus, a college campus, or other areas with, with either networks or just a linear uh, shuttle. Uh, here's an example of how some Furman students might like to have an automated uh, vehicle to take them from the Furman campus, perhaps around the campus, or up to Traveler's Rest, or down to Cherrydale, or even down to the Liberty Bridge in Greenville. And, uh, but what we're hoping to do is to get a grant uh, to uh, demonstrate these automated vehicles in Verde, and down at Clemson University International Center for Automotive Research. Um, 
The, the map that you see here shows the green line is Lawrence Road. The uh, orange line is the uh, a strip that Greenville County Economic Development Corporation owns. And we intend to take that old railroad line and convert it into a multimodal transportation. It's going to have walking, bicycles, and a taxi uh, along that. Um, and it's really a, a tremendous opportunity to improve mobility and connectivity for people who have um, older people who can't drive or younger people who can't drive, people who have disabilities of different kinds. Uh, there are a lot of ways that we can improve um, that. And then uh, there are some things that uh, in the automated transportation that this a taxi doesn't deal with. And we're not going to talk about that today, but for example, at Heathrow Airport, uh, the vehicle that you see here has been operating since April 2011. Um, the, it, it's also operating at West Virginia University, been there for since 1976, carrying millions of people, millions of miles, zero traffic accidents. Uh, so there are a couple of other places in the world that it uh, also uh, is, is utilized and is a, an attractive alternative we want to make that happen in Greenville, and again, that is another story. And the other thing that we really want to do is to create green villages. Um, green villages are places that are green, attractive, livable, walkable, sustainable, and they are connected. They're connected internally and externally, and uh, we think that uh, this is the place of the future. Planners call them uh, uh, transit-oriented economic development. What we want to do is to create the image of a green village, a place that everybody would want to live, work, shop, and play. And uh, so this is uh, part of the future for Greenville. I hope it's a part of the future for, for Furman University. So my question to you is, how can we involve you in uh, creating an ATAXI shuttle system here at Furman University? How can you all work with us to help do that? I'm anxious to hear your ideas at the break and after um, the presentations today. At 2 o'clock today, we're going to have an exhibit of the uh, Bruin 1. They're going to have it out on the field outside, and I look forward to talking to you and having an opportunity to interact with you at that time. So thanks for the opportunity to be with you today, and I look forward to talking with you in the future about automated vehicles. Thanks. <laughs>